Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in the previous lecture we have seen what is Apache Phoenix, where it sits on top of our Hadoop ecosystem and why we are using it over the other query engines. So this lecture is all about setting up Phoenix and running some queries on top of our edge base table. Because Apache Phoenix is a SQL query engine only made for edge base. So as you already know that we have worked with edge base in the previous lectures. So in this lecture we are just going to set up Phoenix and connect it to our underlying edge base tables. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as usual, the first step would be to kick off your HDP sandbox. So I have already kept it in a running position to save some time because it will take around 30 minutes or so to start all the services. And you can just log into the Ambari and just make sure all the services are running fine without any issues. So the next step would be just head over to the Ambari. So just go to your favorite browser and log in as Maria underscore dev where the password is Maria underscore dev. Sign into that and just make sure all the services are running fine. So as you can see here are the zero alerts which means our HDB sandbox is in good health. So I just got one alert for Ranger but you can ignore it for a while. It is because of the connection issues and anyways we don't need Ranger for this tutorial. So for this we need to first start the edge base service. So as you can see initially the edge base will not be in running position. So just click on the edge base and start the service now. So confirm start. So it will take some time. So just grab your coffee and come back after two minutes. So as you can see our edge base has been started now. So we just need to start our Phoenix service which is already pre-installed in our HDB sandbox. But let me tell you one thing, if you're using Hadoop version 2.6, then Phoenix will be pre-installed for you. So we don't have to worry about that. But if you're using like Hadoop 2.5, then you're out of luck because Phoenix is not pre-installed in that specific Hadoop version. And there is no easy way to install it by the way. So if you're using 2.5, I'll recommend you to just watch this lecture carefully and let me know in the comments if you have any doubts because if you're aware about other query engines like Apache Drill, then you're fine with it. Because Phoenix is also similar, just that it only works for edge base. But if you have like Hadoop 2.6, then you're good to go. So just to start our Phoenix service, just log in to the PuTTY terminal by giving Maria underscore dev. So let me just give you that the host name is Maria underscore dev at that local host and the port is 2222. Just open it and give the password as maria underscore dev. I hope you already know that. So to get the all privileges, just log in as a root user. So just give su root and give the password which we have given earlier. So if not, you can configure it anytime and the default password is Hadoop, all in smaller case. So once you log in as a root account, just you need to go to the specific path where the Apache Phoenix is installed. So to do that, just give like cd slash user slash hdp slash current slash phoenix dash client so this is the path hit enter here you can see our phoenix client is installed so we just need to go to the bin directory to actually kick off our phoenix service so just go to bin and if you hit ls here are all the files which you can kick off for starting our service so we just need to go to the phoenix command line because we are just going to run some simple SQL commands on top of our edge base. So for that purpose, you just need to kick off this SQL line.py file. So since it's a Python file, give like Python and give like SQL line.py. If you hit enter, so it will just kick off our Phoenix service and we'll get our command line. Let it run and that's it. We are in the Phoenix command line now. So we can just check all the tables which are already present in edge base as well as we can create one table and work with some data. So are you ready? Okay then. So to get all the list of the tables, you just have to give like exclamation marks and tables. That's it. Hit enter. Okay. So these are the system generated tables which comes pre-installed with your edge base. But if you like for this example, let's create one table so that we'll be familiar with the DDL syntax for Phoenix. So for that purpose, the command is similar, which is create table and will give like if not exist. So this will come in handy if 
when you already have that table. So if it have that table, it will not create one and the command will not be errored out. And the table name would be, let's say employees and you can go to the next line and our employees table will have like employee ID as an integer and it will have the not null constraint so that it will avoid the null entries in that specific column. The next line, let's have it as employee name, which is where care and we will be having the job title. So let's make it a simple table because it is only for your understanding. So give like again where care and now you need to give the constraint here. So in this case, employee ID would be our primary key and it will just partition it as per that specific column. So here for giving the constraint, we just have to type constraint, then give for primary key, give like my underscore PK type primary key and give our primary key, which is M I T. So just close the bracket and run the command. And that's it. Our table has been created. So if we just give like exclamation mark tables. Yeah. So as you can see, employees table has been created. So this is the empty table, but we can insert the records by using the insert command, but you are wrong. We cannot use insert command while working with Phoenix because the insert command is not supported by Phoenix. So you may ask like if we can't insert the records, then how it works because it's a SQL on top of HBase, right? So if we cannot insert the records, how we are able to work with Phoenix. So there is a solution which is known as absurd command. So Phoenix supports the absurd command for inserting or updating the records in our table. So absurd is nothing but the combination of update and inserts. So it will act as an insert command when there is a new record which you are inserting in your table. But if the record is already present, so for example, let's say if you already have like employee 101 in your table, but if you want to change the name or like the job title of that employee, then you can just give like absurd statement. So it will act as an update. So it will just update the record for that specific employee ID, which is 101. So the syntax is pretty much similar. So instead of insert, you just have to give the absurd command. So for inserting the record, let's say up give absurd into the table name, which is employees in this case and give the values and in bracket, let's say we have 101 employee name. Let's give Rajesh and the job title. Let's say developer. That's it. Just run the command and one row is affected. So similarly, just insert some record so that we can play with that data. So to save some time, I have just upserted some records in the table. So here you can see I have upserted around eight records in the table and to show that just you can use the select command. So just if you give like select star from employees, as you can see, we have like eight records in our table. So you can just use simple SQL command. So I'll not get into details because I believe you already know SQL and how to work with it. So to retrieve the data, you can use select clause or else you can just use like filtering with where clause and also combine the data by using the join command so that you can just join multiple tables. But I'll not recommend you to try out the join operations because let's be honest under the hood, it's the NoSQL database and NoSQL databases are not designed to do some complex join operation, which will be not that much efficient. And if you need to join the table, then you're talking about the relational databases because in the NoSQL databases, the data will not be that much structured or else we can say it, it will be a schema free so that you cannot have like same fields for each records. It will have the flexible number of columns or you can say column families and the data will be more of a dynamic and you will not have like so many restrictions to work with NoSQL. So to understand that properly, I'll recommend you to watch our previous videos where I have discussed all about the NoSQL and the basic features of it. And also like specifically tutorials, which we have completed for EdgeBase to get you more understanding of how EdgeBase works. So this lecture was all about setting up Phoenix and how we can work with EdgeBase and run some simple SQL commands on top of your EdgeBase table. So the Phoenix was already installed in our SDB sandbox. So all you have to do is go to the specific path. 
to kick off our SQL line.py file which will start our Phoenix service. And we have just created a table and inserted some data in it by using the upset command and retrieved the same. So we'll just do a simple cleanup by using the drop command. So just give like drop table employees. That's it. So the table has been dropped to verify it. Go to the exclamation tables. That's it. Our table has been dropped successfully. So you can just give like exclamation quit to quit out from the Phoenix command line. And that's it. You're done with your Phoenix. So in the next lecture, let's integrate Phoenix with pig and we'll work with some movies and ratings data to get some meaning out of it. I hope you like this lecture. So please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates. And don't forget to follow us on our social media that I have linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.